gave me a hold. So she, she was talking yesterday. Uh, they were trying to do that little thing where, I, come on, bro, think about it. We pay, we pay, we have a guy, we pay. I'm like, they not gonna pay no three, three something, five something. So I, right. And it's funny because the whole thing, they're like, I'm over here just playing it cool. Oh, I'm just trying to get all their IDs. So like the girl who's driving, she don't have a driver's license. Right, crazy. And she been working, so she been driving all this time to the club. I've been working at the club about a year. She been driving all this time with no license. So I, she gave me her passport, so boom, I had a picture of that. So now I have her, yeah, I gave, I already sent all the pictures of passports and all that. So she gave me that. And then she gave me a whole insurance card. I looked at it. It said 2020, 2021 on it. But the good thing is, look, the dad's name is on it. It's Allstate, so I guess it's the same insurance. But the dad's name is on it, and the dad came an hour later. And it, like I said, I was just playing the cool. They think I'm going to let him supposedly pay for it. And the dad gave him his driver's license to take a picture of it. So when, when I called the, 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 I told the lady, this is the girl who's driving it, boom. But the dad came later and gave him his ID. But in his name and, and address is on the old inspired card that girl gave me. So like technically those two are match up. But, but, you know, Okay, so when you get to the end and then you got the two threads, what you want to do is you want to pull one of the threads through so that so that both of the threads, the needle thread and the bobbin thread are both on the same side. Okay, and then once you pull this thread through, okay, then you sew over the thread, and then you keep pulling. Oh, so yeah, the prince came, and she was gonna have like her. And then sew over those two threads. And technically, you don't have to lock it. You could, but now from here, I'm gonna start sewing at a half inch, and this is more. This is two stitches. It, it performs two two different functions. But one, it it's a decorative stitch at a half inch, so it makes it look, you know, a little bit more professional. But the other thing it does too is sewing this half inch stitch. It it keeps the elastic from rolling. If you only have one stitch in here, then the elastic will roll. And so by by pulling this Okay, so it looks like this took four minutes to do this. To me that seemed like a long time. I could probably and then I'm sewing over the stitching again at the end. I don't know how well that is coming through. Hey, you know what it says on the preview that it doesn't. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, so. So now from here, since I got the I got the gold on top, and so I got the gold right here. So I'm gonna do this last little. This is a kind of like a stay stitch, I guess, where this is. I'm just sewing this on the edge. To keep the, and then if you notice, I'm dovetailing everything, like, like I'm just going right to the next project, and then so from here, I'm just turning this under, and then sewing it, so then that way, when it's done, like it's it's not gonna move, and then sometimes you gotta turn it by hand. 
so you don't go too far because sometimes the machine it can get out of touch so from here now I got blue so the only other thing I got I got blue on these two they're not quite the same color but I'm gonna make them work okay so this is what it looks like before okay like you just got that overlocked edge okay and so I'm just basically turning it like that and then doing like that and I'm doing that on both but if you notice I'm making three pair of pants at the same time now I know this machine can get out of hand so sometimes uh oh I should have I should have turned it upside down I got yellow on the top and I want that blue on the on the top so I'm gonna so on this one I'm gonna change it but I'm still dovetailing where I'm sewing all the projects at the at the same time like not not breaking the thread that saves you a bunch of time so on this one since I know the blue is on the bottom in the bobbin then I'm gonna sew this backwards so I can get the blue to be on the outside now normally that's the one thing about sewing is that uh, when you do gorilla sewing which is what I do and it's also African style like and when you buy clothes from the store they always have the matching threads okay but then when you make clothes on your own you can make clothes with the matching threads but and I do match the threads to some extent okay but like if it's if it's something and it's not gonna be seen like you don't see it from the outside then I don't worry about matching the thread just like if you look right here like you could see that there's black thread here but then on this side it's supposed to be blue really it's supposed to be purple but sometimes I use threads that are close they may not be exact even though I got a lot of thread but there's so many colors in fabric that you can never it's hard to match everything and then I'm not a big company in fact I, I will tell you a story that'll be later about this one lady I sold some stuff and she got mad because the thread didn't match told me I had to take it out and so I took it out but then I did but and then I and then I resold it everything was cool but then I never did any more work for that woman either okay so so anyway so there you have it I'm, I, I fixed all of that and uh, I got one other thing to do but we at 733 I'm gonna stop it now